You know, I just had the most marvelous dream. I dreamt we were back on stage with other people doing real life things again. But we're not. And I've been stuck in Alabama now for four months. I don't even bother to put on makeup anymore. My hair hasn't been done in days. And I don't even bother to dress fancy as it is. This is just something I pulled out of the dryer. Any old thing will do now that we're off the road. But, you know what? We can still have a show. I'm Sylvia Kitsune, and this is the Bifrost Hour. myself as a southern deputante, trapped in here as if it were some sort of equatorial grey gardens. And in this time, I have learned so much about how it feels to comport myself. Well, that's it. I have perfect costume. Let me present our very first entertainer, the gorgeous and beautiful serenity love, the unicorn of burlesque. Just goes to show you what you can achieve with proper storyboarding and a marvelous set. In this time of isolation, I've also noticed that many people like myself with this gorgeous accent, this hair that I bought specially for this episode, have developed new skills and talents. Some people are baking, some people are learning to sew, some people are learning how to do fellatio without gagging a little bit at all. I myself, as an introverted person with social anxiety, have learned how not only to answer the telephone, but to carry on a conversation with someone on the other end. Hello? Fuck off. New skills, everyone. And let me bring up something else new. Our second performer, Miss Lorena from New Orleans, the Lioness of the West. Did you see the marvelous camera angles on that? The editing, the beauty, the fierceness. She really embodied the character. Who's from Star Wars, by the way, in case you didn't think we were culture nerds down here. Now, our third performer hails all the way from the north. Well, the north to Alabama, but the south to most other people. Sawyer St. Sin. She puts the gore in gorgeous. six feet away. You have to wear a mask or I will set the dogs on you. No, don't you go run into John. 
He will tell you the same thing I do. He's the one who trained them to bite people who are stupid and ignore science. Sorry, that was just a church group. And now may I present to you something else that could have been a bite. The three-legged dog sideshow all the way from Texas. Coming up from poetry of the physical form, we have poetry in physical form. Tiny D, the tiny dancer of burlesque. say one of my favorite things about being unable to expose our naked, vulnerable forms to the public eye on the stage has been watching our naked, gorgeous forms occupy celluloid. That was worthy of 80s MTV, and that is the highest praise that I can give a video. And now we're going to go from poetry and physical form to poetry and motion. I have a theme, you see. Themes are very important to Southern women. We go to hooptimism. Who I don't believe we've ever seen on our stage before. But now we're going to see her on our stage in the digital sphere. Optimism. Now I know that as a proud southern woman, I need to rely on the Lord to guide me. But sometimes you know Jesus doesn't do the trick. You have to rely on other forces. And that's why our last commercial, the Vitress of Loke Hera, where he had to get out of the way. If you need spells or reading or tarot or just a little message from beyond, and they are the ones to seek. And I think it's time that we shook things up and got a little fire of the blood. Now I understand the now, man. It always feels like things are on fire because it's muggy like the ass crack of Satan. But what I meant is more of musical nature. So we are bringing you Penny Rebel, the heavy metal rose petal of burlesque. No, and it was Caroline. It's always Caroline. And she said, Silva, if you are going to host a proper party, you need to get those champagne glasses that are the size and shape of a woman's breast. And I said, Caroline, Caroline, said I, if I got champagne glasses that were the size and the shape of the breast that I'm working with, I would never get drunk. And then what fun would the baby shower be? Yeah, well, you say hi to your mama. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's back to me. No, in fact, it's really back to me. This next video is me. You know, when I first moved to Alabama five years ago, everyone told me I was crazy. They said, Silva, you will hate it in the South. There is nobody to talk to. You will be an outcast and a loner. And I said, no, I will find my people. And one of our people is coming up, Miss Juno. Miss, booked and busy, and you will see why.
as much as I miss exposing myself to the public eye in my most naked form while strangers throw money at me, I miss throwing money at other dancers, especially if I can go to a club and do it. Well, the Bifrost Arts Collective has heard all of your longing to go to the club and we've brought a little bit of the club to you. If you go on the Vimo channel, you will see that we have a new project called Go Go To Go, which is what that last commercial was about. I don't know if you know it was in big letters. Where you can download themed videos that will match up with your own playlist. Check it out. It's gorgeous. And that's of course you'll watch it before we launch it and then it's not on yet. You know, we only have an hour together and our time is fleeting and short. So allow me to introduce our last performer. Incalculably talented Kate Nix, a fairy creature herself here to sing us to the closing of our show. You're going to want to download all of her songs after this, I promise you. You know, I have been a fan of her since the very first time I saw her perform. She really is a purveyor of showmanship and she shenanigans. <laughs> we do love our puns. Now I know the first episode is over, but that doesn't mean that there won't be others. And in fact, let us give you a hint about what our very next episode is going to be about. In a My Geek Glory show, I think that you get the entire gambit. I think what we offer is kind of a magical, one-of-a-kind experience and... There's nothing like it. Some class, a little bit of sass, and a taste of, well, let's just say a whole lot of sass. We are a 100% body positive group. Super fun, sexy, things that nobody has ever seen before on stage. And you will leave wanting more. And a whole lot of glitter. Well, that's our show. See you next time.